Hey, what's up guys? So today we're gonna to be talking about all of the reasons why you should pick up the newest Yu-Gi-Oh set, Eternity Code, now that we finally have access to it with an unboxing to follow up my video. But pretty much what it comes down to is there are four out of the 10 secret rares being pretty much at a point where you should be able to make your money back in terms of buying a box on average anywhere from 60 to $70 is the going rate. But if you pick up Access Code Talker, Gearsu, Ghost Morning, uh, or you get the uh, Arcosaur, you're pretty much usually going to be making your money back because remember, every single Yu-Gi-Oh box will be including two of the secret rares uh, over here. Uh, again, your luck might vary. There have been technically cases where sometimes people only pull one, sometimes people pull three, but pretty much you're pulling two per box uh, with, of course, these newer changes. Plus, that's not counting all the ultras, but that's a real quick summary of all of the pros in here. You have four cards. If you pull one of them, you usually should be making your money back. And if you just pull one access code talker, that pays for the entire box but again that is going to be uh, pretty low that's a one out of ten chance or technically two out of ten if you want to kind of look at it like that via buying one box so one out of five is automatically going to be able to pay for itself plus get additional stuff but if we really look at it you're pretty much looking at a decent ratio I'd say uh, about 40 to 50 percent if you buy a box you should be able to again break even again these are the prices as of right now via TCG player and this is not counting if you get that prismatic rare you're getting uh, your money back plus a lot a lot more but anyways guys enjoy the vid hey what's up guys so today we're going to be opening up this box of eternity code the latest Yu-Gi-Oh set so let's go ahead and hop right into it so first off uh, this video is all going to be about the reasons why you guys should pick up this set of Yu-Gi-Oh! We're also going to be making this as a two-part series because I will also give you the reasons on why you should not buy this set. But today we're all about going over the pros in this set. So, uh, pretty much most of the secret rares are actually pretty good in here. I'd say 7 out of 10 are pretty decently valued over here. Uh, especially, of course, those prismatic rares. So... Let's go ahead and open up the box and let's see what we go ahead and actually pull. So first pack over here. So the prismatic veilers are still like 500 plus dollars, which is absolutely insane. But uh, let's go and check out what we pull. So we got Codebreaker, Virus Berserker, Ancient Warriors, Deceptive, Ja Wen. We got the Codebreaker, Zero Day, the Evil Eye Remergence, Heavy Forward over here uh, as our Ultra Rare, uh, the Tao Tai Dragon, uh, Parallel XC, and the Red Familiar, and then the Nemesis, uh, Drestia. So the Nemesis are actually in this set too. Most of them aren't going to be too expensive. Let's go ahead and pull all of the uh, foil cards. Oh, let's move this aside over here. We'll put out all of the cards that are, I guess, the, the rares or what would be considered valuable, and then the commons will stack over here. All right, next pack over here. But, um, as far as it goes, the dinosaurs got a huge boost in here with the Arachosaur, so hopefully we can uh, get uh, that card, because that's a card I'm kind of looking forward to. Uh, so anyways, Deep Sea uh, Minstrel over here, I'm going to set some of the cards that I'm going to use for, for like maybe videos or something aside, so uh, if I set some of these cards aside, I don't think they're going to be worth a lot of money. The Perform Pal Turn Trooper, the Goki uh, Iron Claw, let me put that in the focus over here, the Marinces, uh Belize uh, Lalima? Uh, Scripton as our foil, the Flourishing Frolic, Parallel Exceed, the Tao Tai Dragon, and the Red Familiar. So I'm going to set aside, like I said, all the foils we'll put in this pile over here so you guys can see that. And then some of the cards that I'm going to be using, I'm just going to set them aside personally. And uh, next pack over here. But uh, also, Gears is still worth a decent amount. It's like it's sitting around 40 bucks at the moment of me making this video. So we got the uh, Trius, we got the Super Heavy Samurai uh, Wagon, we've got the Unchained Twins uh, Sarama, the Megalith Uniform, Arc Nemesis Proto. So, Eschatos is the one I'm actually looking to pull here because it's really great in Light Sworn variant decks. And then we got Link Burst, a Nemesis Adrestia over here. There's another card that I kind of personally want. I think I only want to run one of them anyways. Then we also got the Deep Sea Sentry. That's another card that I'm looking forward to because I like water. And then we got the King Beast Barbaros over here. All right. It's been a while since we opened up some uh, boxes here. But yeah, if you're looking to build like water, dinosaurs, or ogres combo decks, there's also Link Cross. That's also a very sought after card uh, in here. And on top of that, uh, again, most of the secret rares are actually pretty good, and we'll go more in-depth on that in a moment here. But we got Resonator Command, the Buzzsaw Shark, the 
Uh, Golden Hair Newest Plunder Patrol. There's also a Secret Rare Plunder Patrol card in here. We have Goki the Power Load Ogre, AI Contact as our foil, uh, Red Familiar, uh, Noctovision Dragon, Ancient Warrior Saga, the Code Breaker Virus Swordsman. But uh, pretty much what it comes down to is the most sought after card is Access Code Talker, and that's the, the big pull out of this set. Again, not counting Prismatics because those are super, super rare in the first place. Uh, but as far as the set goes, uh, I'd say 7 out of the 10 uh, are pretty good. Uh, Titan Cider is only worth like 5 bucks at the moment, but it's still a very, very powerful card. So we got the Deep Sea Artesian, Super Heavy Samurai Wagon, the Proxy F Magician, Stairs of Mail, the Arrival Cybers at Ignister. This is going to be a link. Oh gosh, that is really awesome. So you can see all the link zones uh, are completely filled up with this guy. This guy's kind of cool. Uh, I got enough of those now. The Barring of Arrows, Ancient Warriors, for some Zhuang Yuan over here. And we also have Splash Mage, which is actually a pretty decent card as well, but not going to be worth that much money. Let's go ahead and open up the next pack of the Eternity Code. But as far as other great cards to pull over here, Gearsu, uh, of course the Orcus card, uh, like I mentioned before, is great. We also have the Ghost Mourner, that can be pretty much used in most decks. It's arguably a better effect builder in some circumstances, plus Gravedigger is an also a really great card to actually pull from the set. It's an actual uh, card that people might be side decking or even main decking. Marn says, uh, the Stairs, the Buzzsaw Shark, Necro Quip Prism, Plunder Patrol, Ship Shape, Ship Shipping, the Tongue Twister over there. And then we got the Agoki Gut, the Super Heavy uh, Samurai Swords Master Musashi, Tao Tai Dragon, Red Familiar. Once again, all right, we should start opening up these a little faster because it's been a while since uh, we opened up uh, two boxes uh, of a set. Uh, next up over here, we got the Megalith uh, Uniformed, uh, Unchained Samara, Treus Karyakia, the Deep Sea Artesian, Rose Girl as our foil, Nemesis Adrestia, Red Familiar, Parallel Exceed, Code Breaker by our Swordsman. Looks like we're getting a lot of the Red Familiars over here in uh, our box so far. And we still got lots, lots of packs to go ahead and go through. We haven't even gotten a Secret Ur yet, uh, but since the newer changes, uh, well, this was a while back ago, but uh, being able to get a uh, two Secret Rares in a box is quite nice. Uh, anyways, Deep Sea Artesian. We got the Super Heavy Samurai uh, Wagon, the Proxy F Magicians, the Stairs of Mail, Witchcrafter, uh, Patronius, no uh, Noctovision Dragon, Ancient Warrior Saga, the Baron uh, Eros, Virus Swordsman, and Drestius. Shoot, we're getting a lot of those Nemesis cards, but no Nemesis monsters yet. Hopefully we can get some of those. The Nemesis are actually really good in this set too, so that could be a reason if you guys want to pick up the set uh, for those alone, although most of them aren't very expensive. Uh, the New Street Ministro, the uh, Perform Pal Turn Trooper, the Goki Iron Claw, uh, Mar and the Marincess, another the rival Cybers at Ignister, Barring Arrows, here's some Zing One, and then Splash Magician and Magical Hound. That pet. Next up, we got hopefully a secret coming up pretty soon. <laughs> uh, we have AIQ over here, uh, Deep Street Ministro, uh, Pinpoint Dash, Turn Trooper, Plunder Patrol Ship List. And uh, this, even though this video is all about the pros here, this is actually, I would say, the worst secret rare in this set. Um, in terms of monetary value, it's just only a few dollars here. But there's nothing in this set right now that's only worth like a dollar. Sometimes in certain sets, a secret rare will be worth just a dollar. And at the moment, uh, in, in terms of the pros for picking up this set, is a lot of people don't have access to these cards. So as time goes on, if you guys are interested in picking this up, now is definitely the time because over time, things obviously will go lower in value, and then it's simply due to supply and demand, and uh, right now these are pretty hot, like most places are like 70 plus right now, as uh, some sets sometimes uh, start off at like 60-ish, but this one's just difficult to get. Deep Sea Artesian, Super Heavy uh, Samurai Wagon, Proxy F Magician, uh, Stairs, Nemesis Flag, nice, another Swordsman, Lantern Shark, Zebroid, and the Cataclysmic Circumpolar Chili Blenia. You know what? We'll have to set this card aside because I need to read it. Because uh, I did technically go over the entire set, but sometimes they change the names of cards and it's just unfamiliar with me. The next pack over here. Let's see what we get. We got the Buzzsaw Shark, 
the Goki Power Load Ogre, the Resonator Command, uh, Code Breaker Virus Berserker, oh, Malice Lady of Lament. I actually really wanted this card, only because I want to make a token out of it. It just looks really, really good uh, as a token. Thunder uh, Dragon Lord, Deep Sea Sentry, Magical Hound, Beast, uh, King Beast Barbaros. So I wanted to say Beast King Barbaros, because as soon as I see that picture, that's the first thing I think of. But, um, next pack over here. So if you want to build water, I mean, for the most part, most people already have most of the water cards, so it'll be pretty easy to go ahead and complete. Uh, you just need Triple Cups of Aria, which is like a $5-ish card right now. Uh, so it should be pretty easy to uh, build that deck if you want to do that. And then we have the Ghost Pirate, Necro Quick Person, uh, Zero Day, and Lock to Your Shadow of the Generator Bosses over here. Generators actually aren't that bad. Uh, Rain Bozu, Link Burst, and then Adrestia, and Deep Sea Sentry. next pack over here and let me know guys what you think of eternity code so far and if you guys think it's worth picking it up or not but as far as it goes for this video we're only talking about the pros so we still have one more secret rare uh and uh we'll see what we get proxy f at Ministro. we got the uh golden hair pinpoint dash burning draw as our foil bluebeard thunder dragon lord pride of the planet patrol torpedo take down but player patrols aren't bad either. There's a lot of archetypes that came out. I know they're not like the most uh, highest tier deck, but a lot of these decks can still kind of compete with some of the stuff in the metagame. All right, next pack. Evil Eye, uh, Reemergence, Simlia, Ancient Warriors, Jawen, Crimson Resonator, the Gotchiri, uh, Ignister, that's her foil, another uh, King Beast, Goki Guts, Super Heavy Samurai Swords Master Musashi over here, Tao Tai Dragon. There's also a decent amount of other machine cards in this set. Um, of course, like the Metal Cruncher for the machines can be quite great as well. It has that whole Regeki effect during your Hoon's turn, so like Goldilocks, the uh, Pyramph, AIQ, uh, Taris Hariakia, Heart Generator Boss of Storms, Revive Splash, Knock Division Dragon, Flourish Frolic, and Tao Tai Dragon. Almost opened that one off camera. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyways, the Resonator Command, Buzzsaw Shark, Golden Hair, the Goki, uh, Scripton, as we're foil, Red Familiar, Ancient Warriors, uh, Fearsome, Torpedo Takedown, and Cataclysmic Serpent Polar. Once again. But we still got another secret rare, so that's the most important thing to actually pull out of it. Plus, maybe we get that Prismatic Kappa. All right, we got the Golden Hair, Newest Planet Patrol, Pyrath, Necro Quip, uh, Zero Day, uh, we got Cheery, Magical Hound, Cobra Breaker, Fire Swordsman, Lantern Shark, and Zebroid X. Next pack. Uh, we got the Link Burst. This one, that card was upside down. Okay. <laughs> Maybe this will be the lucky pack. Uh, Code Breaker, Zero Day, Iron Claw, Resonator, uh, Goldilocks, and Marnsis, Great Bubble Reef. Uh, and then we got Torpedo Takedown, and then Transcosmic once again. We've gotten a lot of that one. That one and the, uh, the some of the Resonator cards we've been getting a lot of. All right. Next pack over here. But I would say most of the time you can't go super minus with this set again. Um, the worst cards would be really just the Titan Cider. Even though it's a good card, it's just the value of it isn't the, the highest. Evil Eye, Remergence, and then the, the Plunder Patrol, which we actually pulled. And then... Um, Let's see what else we get over here. Crimson Red Estate, the Rose Girl, Cataclysmic, Rain, Bozu, and Link Burst, and another Nemesis. Uh, Drestia, which is a pretty decent card for Nemesis. I'm hoping we can get more Nemesis. I'm almost feeling like they short printed those guys over here. All right, next pack, we got the uh, Codebreaker, Virus Berserker, the Ancient Warrior, Deceptive Jaw Wen, uh, Zero Day, uh, Evil Eye Emergence, Link Cross. Wow, that is the best ultra rare. So this is one reason to pick up this set. Um, and I can highly recommend this card in almost most combo decks. This is one of the most expensive ultra rares. It's about 20 bucks right now. So that was a really good pull. That basically made up for what I would consider overall pretty bad so far. But remember, we still have another secret rare. We got Parallax Seed, Revive Splash, Magical Hound, Pride of the Planet Patrol. But yeah, this video is all about the pros. If you guys want to see the reasons why you should not pick up this set, that'll be also, again, down there in the pinned comments. But regardless of what we pull, we're just going over the pros in this video. So we turn the code. So I'm hoping we can get uh, another, uh, well, it, it, as long as we don't get like the, the deep sea card, we'll be pretty good off. Resonant Command, Buzzsaw Shark, Golden Hair, Goki Power Overlord, Ancient Warriors, uh, the Zhuj Kong, 
Uchi Century, and then Beast King, Goki, and then Musashi. But most of the commons, like if you're looking to build like machines, I'd probably recommend just looking at the uh, the other video kappa. But uh, we still got that secret rare, so let's see what we get. We got a Mistral, Turn Trooper, Iron Claw, a Silmiot, Red Rain over here, Lantern Shark, uh, Bluebeard, Flourishing, Frolic, Splash Mage. Wow. The last card, our last pack here, should be indeed another secret rare. And let's see what we get. Y'all drop a like on this video for good luck. Let's see if we can get something good. All right, so we got the uh, Megalith, Samsara, Tris Heriarch, Deep Sea Artesian, Chamber Dragon Maid. Decent little cards, about almost 20 bucks right now. And then we got the Tao Tai Dragon, Red Familiar, the Fearsome uh, Zhuang Yuan. Torpedo takedown. So let's go into a quick little recap of what we pulled and let's kind of check out overall what the value was. So again, this is, this is, by the way, guys, this video is as of right now, things can change over time. So we're looking at about 20 bucks here, another 20 bucks over there for the uh, link cross. And that's already pretty much almost paying for everything. Plus all the commons will eventually add up. Most of the supers are going to be, uh, you know, a few cents to a uh, dollar here or there. And of course this card being about five bucks. Uh, so I would say overall we almost broke even on this again uh, without knowing obviously what we uh, would get in the packs overall the pros as far as this goes with uh, purchasing of course eternity code I would say the pros are most of the secret rares are pretty good we just pulled one that wasn't so hot but this made up for it definitely if you guys are interested in combo decks link cross could be an excellent combo extender for your plays. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you did, drop a like on it. If you're new here, hit subscribe, turn on the bell if you want to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. And if you guys want to see the reasons why you shouldn't buy Eternity Code, well, honestly, this the, the opening wasn't insane in this one, but check out the other video for more in-depth analysis. But I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one, and I'm signing out. Peace.